Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome back to the Hitman 3 series and today we are gonna play some. I, I have not, I've not in fact done anything on here in a while, um, including the fact that I haven't touched the elusive target. I haven't been on this game in a week. Uh, we're not gonna do this elusive target because we've already done this elusive target on the channel I believe. Um, I'm not doing a, a, a reissue of an elusive target that we've already done. Uh, there's no, there's no point in me doing that. Um, right? Right? Yeah, I did this, and I got it perfect. So, um, yeah. Previously eliminated the fugitive. Um, I'm not. I have, I have previously eliminated them, um, which is nice. As you guys can see, we can go through all my elusive targets that I've done: the deceivers, the stowaway. Uh, the Seavers and the Stowaway, both and the uh, both of them done perfect. Politician was not unfortunately. The Black Hat, the Twin, uh, were. The Entertainer was not done perfect. The Food Critic was. Uh, the Bookkeepers was surprisingly, or the Bookkeeper, sorry. The Ascensionist was. Uh, the Collector was. The Iconoclast was. The Liability was. The Heartbreaker was. The Procurers were. Uh, the Rage was, the Heartbreaker number 2 was, the Broker number 2 was not, the Collector number 2 was, um... Did I miss the Twin? Did I did I not see the Twin in this, or did I... Oh, I, I just passed it. Black Hat uh, was also done properly. The Twin was not, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're doing good. We're 15 and 4 and 0 right now. I'm going to do this after I'm done with this video. I will do the Deceivers uh, number 2. We are going to go through the roadmap real quick because they finally released a new roadmap. This is the first new roadmap of the year. Uh, Space Conflict featured contracts. The Fugitive, the May 6th to May 16th uh, reactivated as well as the Bookkeeper from May 13th to May 23rd. Um, I've already done the Fugitive. Uh, I've not done the Deceivers number two, which is why I'm surprised they're still available. Maybe it's because they're uh, a new up for this. Uh, May 12th, the Food Fight featured contracts. Uh, the Rubber Duck, May 19th, featured contracts. The Yellow Rabbit Suit Unlock for doing the Duck Hunt on May 24th. I don't know why they have the Berlin Egg Hunt, why they're doing that in May when uh, Easter was last month. They did, uh, if you guys don't know, the Berlin Egg Hunt was last year's uh, Easter um, Easter event that they did on Berlin. I believe you can still play it. I believe it's a contract you can still play. Yep, see? Seasonal content. Um, I guess either they reactivated it or... Um, they either reactivated it or... Uh, or it's, it's always allowed. I can't remember for sure. Arcade. Oh, Elusive Target Arcade. Okay. I was like, what the hell's Arcade? And I was like, oh, right. Go back to that real quick. Uh, then we also have uh, Lucid Target Arcade May 24th with who is that? The Iconoclast, the the Collector, and the Heartbreaker. It looks like, and then the Iconoclast being reactivated uh, May 26th to June 6th, and the May patch coming out on May 24th. Also, if you guys don't know, they announced a brand new map. Um, I don't remember when. I know it's been announced when it's coming out. I just don't remember when it was said. Hitman 3 new map. <clears throat> uh, also, we did get... Uh, unfortunately, Freelancer was um, pushed back to the second half of 2022, which is unfortunate. Um, which sucks because it was supposed to launch like right around now. But with to help with the wait, I was releasing the brand new Ambrose Island map in July, which is earlier than it was originally planned. I think that was supposed to initially come out later in the year. But because of that... Unfortunately, they just had to change it, uh, but this is the reasoning behind it. The feedback from the play test was largely positive and the mode is in very good shape. As we've said, we're taking some extra time to tighten the mode up and improve several elements that we think will greatly improve the gameplay experience. This is a roguelike thing, freelancer mode. It is roguelike um, elements bringing, being brought into the game's various campaign missions, allows the player to customize 47's new safe house. So they wanted more time to work on it to make sure it's really working well. Um,
Uh, they also originally had an April patch in the works that include new content, such as more featured contracts and this target throughout May, but is now being released on May 24th. Rather than that, um, the Ambrose Island map, which is codenamed Rocky, will have intriguing narrative as it is set before Hitman 3 and will explain a few narrative gaps within the World of Assassinations trilogy storyline, which is good because there's been some very confusing things with the storyline when you get to Hitman 3 from Hitman 2. So I'm very excited for the new content to come out, uh, the new map. I will be playing the new map when it comes out in, Ju I think July is what they said, right? Um, so we'll see what that is when it comes out and uh, we'll play through it and see how it, how it, uh, how it is. I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited for that. Um, I don't know what I want to do here, guys. I, I really don't know what I want to do today. Um, you know what? I'm going to mark all the kill everyone's I've done on this. So that way... I know which ones I finished. So I don't look at them when I'm trying to look through the list. I have a bad habit of doing that. Um, if you guys don't know, I list out all my Kill Everyone challenges in a very specific way. And uh, when I go back through the list, I never know what I'm doing because I can't see anything because... It's very fucking difficult to differentiate sometimes. So we're going to do Miami, a silver tongue. Um, wait, have I done? Have I done the race one? I have not. So we can do that one too later. We're not going to do that one today because I, I want to do a silver tongue first. So we're going to grab... We'll take the pistol... We'll, uh, we'll bring a briefcase. Let's go with the golden one, because it's fun. With, uh... Mm. Mm. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with attack for AR Mach 2. Why not? Uh, smuggled item. Mm, do we need a smuggled item? Hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we, should we grab a smuggled item? I don't think we need one. Let's take that. You know what? Screw it. We'll uh, we'll have it in the car park. We'll bring another explosive. <laughs> Why not? Let's go with fragmentation grenade. There we go. Let's start this kill everyone challenge up. I um. I, I, I'm, I'm glad I took kind of like a break. I didn't mean to take it again. Like I kind of was like, oh yeah, I'm coming back. We're going to have more content on the channel. And then I kind of accidentally took another break. Um, I'm prepping for school guys. So like, it's kind of been my main focus. Like I, I know it's bad to say as this is something I do want to have as a career, but I unfortunately did really have to kind of take a step back because school is getting close and I need to really, really focus on school uh, as much as possible because it is important to me to, to pass my classes and, and to get good grades and shit like that so I can actually Welcome to my have Miami. some some really good uh, grades and stuff. So um, while I do want to still be able to enjoy Greetings. doing my channel, I still want to be able to do the channel. Sometimes I just do really need to focus on, on other things. And that's kind of been how it is for, for a bit. I, I wanted to... To focus on both my mental health and kind of my actual health. I got sick, like I said. Uh, that was why I took such a long break for a bit. Um, I had a lot going on. I was extremely busy with work. I got sick. And, you know, I I just kind of needed that time to to focus on myself more than anything else. Um, not that, like, I don't want to focus on my channel, because I do. But I really did need to focus on, on my health and everything like that for a bit. Um... But I'm glad to be back on the channel now and, and be able to do more content again that I've been missing out on for a bit. Shit, I missed. I can't find him. Move out half an inch further and maybe you would have, you dipshit. If you guys are wondering, by the way, yes, I'm destroying the cameras. I know it's kind of pointless when you're doing a Kill Everyone Challenge to destroy cameras and shit, but I enjoy doing it just... Just for the hell of it. We're going to pick that up. And then immediately drop it. We're going to drop our briefcase. We're going to take my gun out. We're going to strike my... We're going to disguise myself as a guard. Um, for those of you wondering why. Because then I can have this gun. 
Um, I do want to be able to walk around <laughs> to where people are without them freaking out the minute they see me because I have a, an AR in my hands or on my back, um, rather. Um, so yeah, we do need to focus on that. My triangle button has been sticky recently, and I don't know why, and it's bugging the hell out of me, because it, it's kind of sticking in a very frustratingly difficult way, pretty much. So, uh, that's not very enjoyable. It, it does become hard to press sometimes. We're gonna... Ooh, damn, that was... Far louder than I thought. I thought I put the fucking tactical... I thought I got the, the silent one. Apparently, I did not. Oopsie doopsies. Well... Kind of takes away my uh, my silent strategy a little bit. No, you don't, motherfucker. And granted, I have two grenades, so silence was never a full option. Let's let's be honest. What crime? What? There was a crime noticed? Never. I really wish I would have paid a little bit more attention when picking my gun. Let's let's snap this guy's neck. God, that triangle is really sticking. I don't know why. I guess I've been playing a lot of games that require triangle recently. I've been playing a lot of uh, Borderlands 3 with uh, my my friend Sam. And just by myself in general, I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3. Whoa, whoa. Excuse me, sir. Excuse, excuse me, sir. You're not... Supposed to be in here. Ah, what a jerk. Why would he just walk in there like that? Gosh, who does he think he is? Uh, what what disguise is this? Have I gotten this disguise before? Okay, yes. I, I had to check. I always have to check with disguises in this game because I really don't know. When I haven't played in so long, I don't know which disguises I've grabbed and which ones I have not grabbed. So I'm trying to uh, double check some of them and make sure that I've in fact got them. Um, so that's always fun. God, this is going to be a bitch of a level. I forgot how big Miami actually is, so this might take a lot longer than planned. I'm assuming these people already fucking booked it. I'm assuming they heard the gunshots and booked it. No. God damn it, I missed that shot. That was an easy shot, too. What? No, not the... God damn it. <sighs> I had the wrong gun. Dude. These are very easy shots that I keep missing. Very frustrating. We are going to grab this frag grenade, and we're just going to toss it up there. I don't know if I killed... How many of them I killed? Where is, where is this guy? Oh. I need that there. Kaboom! Drop that because it's of no use to me. Okay, a lot of these are static bodies, which is nice. Is it makes it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to run away. Get the fuck out of here, statics. Nobody likes you. God, there's so many on this level. I did not realize how many static people pop up on this level. That's insane. Ugh, buttons. I need to go grab that shotgun from that room over there. Is that door still open? Please tell me that door still open. Oh, wait. Did I, just, I just passed it. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not the one I went through. Fuck. Never mind. It's over here. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, guys. Is it still open? Fuck. Oh, that's not good. However, that being there is very good. This means I can do that. Which means I can run in here. And go get the shotgun. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Go grab this here shotgun. And run out here to go pop some mofos. Is this the way I went? Oh, no, this isn't the way I went. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. This is not the way I went to get out there. Um, oh, 
frustrating right now, guys. This is frustrating me. This isn't how I got out here a second ago. It's not where I was shooting at. I think this way is the way I was shooting at. This is going to take a while. If you guys don't know, I have to kill the racers, too. Like, the racers are part... This isn't where I was shooting at, either. Fuck me, dude. This map is confusing. But if you guys don't know, you can kill everyone who is uh, driving around up there. Like, you can kill all of them. I am going to tap my triangle button a few times. Didn't mean to do that. But, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to save right here real quick. Because I kind of need a save. What I'm probably going to do with this one, for those of you wondering, by the way, because I have like 14 minutes left. I'm sure you guys have noticed how much time is left in this video. Um, what I'm going to do, and uh, it's not always my favorite thing to do, but I'm going to probably in about five or six minutes from where we're at right now, um, I'm going to, oh, there's where I was at, that's right. I'm going to, uh, save this video and start recording again with a second, separate video after a few more minutes of, uh, of shooty shooty bang bangs. And, uh, murdering people. No, that's a flash. Oh, bullshit! Bull fucking shit. I couldn't remember how to fucking cover on a wall, you guys. Are you fucking kidding? I missed that shot. That was an easy shot to make, and I missed it. Come on. I hit the second dude, but I couldn't hit the fucking first guy. Alright, first guy, come on. Just call me a bitchy bitch. Oh, fuck. Shotgun. Reload. Reload. I got them both? Wow. God damn. That guy just did not want to die. Okay. We're going to save again. Oop. Wait for it. Oh my god. You going to let me save now, game? No, I'm still in combat. According to the game, I'm still in combat. Oh. Come on, walk down. You're fucking kidding me. From where, game? Where am I still in combat from? There's nobody here. This game is fucking frustrating me. Oh, fuck. There they are. No fucking shit. I have a fucking finite amount of ammo, you dicks. The only way I get more is by killing you fuckers. Dude. How many fucking guys is there? I'm hit. It's almost like I'm trying to kill you guys. If you guys didn't know, by the way, you can sort of cheat the hit markers on this game. Oh, I can't get it again, though? Fuck me. I love how I got it the first time, but I couldn't get it the second time. Oh, what? Sir. Right in the ding-dong. Right in his dick. That's what you get for fucking shooting me, motherfucker. Oh, I need to hide somewhere. I need to hide somewhere bad. Where did my fucking pistol just go? Yeah, I need to, like, seriously just hop in here for a second and hide. Okay, can I save now? No, apparently not. Okay. I'm hunted right now. Can I save now, game? It's gonna load up YouTube so I can watch some YouTube while I, uh... Okay, I'm gonna save it, and I'm gonna do, uh... I'm just gonna go through for a few minutes, and, uh... Kill some people off-camera, and then, uh, we'll come back. 
afterwards. We are nearly done. We're, I think, the last area we have to go through. I think the main cron at inside building this place is the last How the smell of those area we have left. You nuts with hunger? Hey, hey. Um. God damn. We've, uh, we've cleared out a majority of the areas. Uh, I'm pretty sure this whole area has been cleared. The racetrack area has been cleared. The uh, garages have all been cleared. The kind of like party area next to the racetrack and garages has been cleared. Um, unfortunately, while this could, this could be a much, much higher, um, Sorry, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this could be a much, much higher kill everyone challenge. We could have a lot more kills in this. However, unfortunately, um, okay. unfortunately, when I was in the middle of doing this, uh, when I was striking people over in the stands, if you guys don't know, the pretty much the entirety of the fans in the the stands over there are all static, um, Static targets. If you guys don't know what a static target means, if you haven't been watching this channel for a while, or if you haven't, you're not very familiar with Hitman or how video games work. Um, static target pretty much means it's more or less just kind of a mesh. Like it's somebody there, but they aren't fully there. They're just kind of there to add to the bodies and uh, make the game look more realistic. It'd be kind of like, what's the best example? Like if you watch the movie 300, there's not 300 soldiers standing there. It's maybe like seven people and then the rest of it are just plastered on cgi bodies in the back that's kind of what um that's kind of what a static a static uh static character or a static uh npc in a game is is it's just kind of just kind of a uh a cgi character kind of there to fill space pretty much and uh Unfortunately, a lot of the statics that were in the stands did get away. So, this very much could be a higher kill everyone challenge than what we're going to end on. Um, I would bet, had I gone about this smarter and either grabbed an assault rifle and brought it towards the stands when that was happening, uh, when I saw the assault rifle, if I brought that to the stands, or if I brought a bunch of explosions, explosives to the stands, then I probably would have had the best possible way to kill everybody in the stands um, without missing any of them. Um, every other static area, like uh, the people in the crowds around the food core areas, all that, I think I got as many of them as I possibly could. Um, I'm sure I missed a few here and there, but I did get a lot of the static um, individuals throughout this area, um, which are never very easy. Those are, uh, they, they are very sometimes but in this map um like i said i'll kill everyone uh it seems like the stat the way they did static um static targets static npcs in this game changed uh after after this game after hitman 2 it seems like it changed uh in hitman 2 it seemed like they they were static for a point and then they ran because this map is a hitman is a hitman 2 map and they ran away a little bit but they kind of stayed and then cowered and it made them still pretty pretty easy to kill not gonna lie like they're still static targets you can just fucking punch them and they die like that's literally for those of you who don't know a static target you just have to touch you can run it up to them and punch them in the face and they die um but they did run and cower and i don't remember them doing that on the garden show i remember them just kind of standing where they were and cowering or in some cases, literally just fucking standing there and doing nothing. Um, I snap this dude's neck because I uh, missed a shot and I really needed to not miss that shot. I still have people alive? What? I'm so confused. I do not have any idea who's alive right now. Um. Where? Is. There's no one in here, is there? 
I'm so confused, you guys. I have no idea who's alive. If you guys don't know, the compromise should have went away. If if no one is left alive who knows what my disguise is, and no one is left alive in general, um, you should have no no markers over there. No hunted, no compromise, no searching, nothing. It, it should just be empty. So someone has seen me in this disguise and is still alive, is what I'm understanding right now. Now, it could just be because there were statics that didn't get killed, um, and they ran off. I'm assuming they ran away. I'm assuming they got out of the mission area, which I thought wasn't a thing anymore. Like, I thought they couldn't get out of the mission area, but maybe it's because of, um, maybe it's because of this game being different than, like, this being a Hitman 2 map instead of a Hitman 1 map, or a Hitman 3 map, I mean. I don't know for sure, but, like, I'm not seeing any oranges, which is frustrating me. But I'm going to kind of do a sweep. I always do a sweep when I'm doing these. Uh, I'm going to save real quick, too, because majority of the people have been killed. Like, I've, I've killed majority of the people on this mission. Um, There isn't much left at this point. So what we got? Okay, so nobody over here. I don't see... I, I should be able to see most of the oranges in this area if, I, if I'm um, paying close enough attention. There's also not a whole lot of areas they can hide. I feel like if there's anybody I'm missing, I should see them. I'm so confused, man. I s oh, there's the people. I'm assuming this is why I'm compromised. Even though none of them are showing orange, this might be why I'm compromised. Well, I guess we'll see. Oh, there's my compromisation. Right there. I wonder if there's more people still to kill, though. Because now I'm thinking about it, those statics might be alive again. Ooh, look, look, right there. Right there is another person. Also, oh, there's another person. I forgot about that dude up there. I think, I actually, I didn't get the uh, commentating dudes. I don't know if they ran out. They they do run out after a while. Like they'll run out of that booth. Um, there's also a, a joke on this. I think it's how you find out that you've killed everyone. Um, the the announcer. But again, I don't know where the announcer's at. Like I don't hear the announcer or anything. Um, the announcer will do a big Mooney um impression and and make a joke. I don't know if it's on this and or if it's just on uh, or on this as well or if it's just on. Um, the finish line. It might only be on that one. Okay, so if I run up here, if anyone's up here, I I can kill them. Because it, it says searching. It that should disappear when everyone. That's kind of like if you guys have never done a kill everyone challenge. By the way, that's how you kind of know everyone's gone. Is there will be nothing there. It it will not say searching, compromised, hunted, nothing. It will just be empty as far as I know. Okay, so these dudes did run away. They probably... If I had to guess, these guys probably booked it when I uh, started shooting into the crowd from across the way. That would be my my best guess. Um, there's also, if you guys don't know, there's a way you can kill the drivers without them stopping. Um, you can. I didn't bring a sniper, so it made it incredibly difficult. You can kill them with a pistol. It's just not the best method. Um, but you just kind of shoot into the racetrack, uh, and hit the, you have to hit them in a very specific way, but they'll, they'll eventually kind of just crash and explode. There's actually a thing for it in the, uh, finish line mission. Okay, I'm going to, uh, again, make a cut and, uh, see if I can go find anybody else, because it still says searching and it's bothering the hell out of me, um, which means there's probably still somebody alive somewhere, um, so I will, for you guys, be back in a quick second stumped right now i have no idea where i'm missing people i killed about four more people um i actually did not realize there's a manhole exit on this mission uh, i just found it a second ago um <coughs> i've killed about four more people and uh yeah still um still no idea where i'm missing people at <laughs> like it still says searching i'm fairly certain at this point there is nobody left for me to kill but I, I just, I can't find anybody. I've searched around a whole, oh, 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 right there. 
I was about to say, I've searched around a whole lot of the map. Like, I have been... Oh my god, there's a whole slew of people I've missed in this area. I wish I had a, a machine gun right about now. Alright. Oh, a lot of these are statics. This is going to be fun. See, this is what statics normally do. But in this map, as you can see, right by those people there, they are running. Like, there are statics that are just running away. I don't understand it. Like, as far as I know, statics are just supposed to do this and cower. So, there must have been... If I had to guess, there was some sort of change made between Hitman 2 and 3 for statics. Oh, that's not static. See, look, this is all you have to really do to kill a static, is just... Snap his neck. Snap that neck. Punch that dude. Punch that dude. See, that's normally, that's that's like a really easy way to kill statics right there, by the way, for those of you wondering. Just shoot them in the fu- or just punch them real quick. Walk up, punch them. Saves you ammo. Snap his neck. Shoot. 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 However, as far as I know, statics don't compromise you, so... If it says compromised or searching, it means there's an actual human being who can move around normally without having you uh, scare the shit out of them um, somewhere on the map, case in point. He's not the one who had me compromised, but he, uh, he, he further showed my example. I did not even remember this area was here, like, at all. Oh, there's still security guards? Are you fucking shitting me? I've never dropped the disco ball on someone, so I kind of had to do it. I had to do it to him. It's still compromised? Are you fucking shitting me? Who the fuck saw me? Where the fuck did they go is the other question I have. Who the fuck saw me? Where the fuck they go? Oh, 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 oh. Right down there. That's where they went. Hi, buddy. How, uh, how you doing? Can I get down there from here? I can't. Son of a bitch. I have to run downstairs. Somewhere, 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 somewhere. Stairs, stairs, stairs! There they are! Boom. Oh, I missed! No, you don't. I'm still not done. They're still... Living people compromising me. Are you fucking joking me? Alright guys, we're gonna make another cut because I still have no idea where the fuck I'm being seen for- Where the fuck this person's at. Like, I'm seriously lost as to where there's living people, not just static NPCs. I'm so lost. So we will be back when hopefully the rest of the static NPC- Or not the rest of the static NPCs, the rest of the actual NPCs have been murdered. See, I've, I'm, I'm like on the other side of the map from when you guys last saw me. I don't. I'm missing somebody apparently, but I don't know where I'm missing them at. Like I, I have searched and searched and searched for this person and cannot find them, and I don't know. I don't know where I'm missing this person at. I really don't. I'm. I'm not sure if they're <clears throat> if they're in some random area that I just didn't see or I'm not you know like I'm not sure about I've I've searched the lockers I've searched the garages I searched that whole up and down area that you guys saw me at last time when I found all those people um I got a few more people from there like there were a few people in a few different spots um I've I've gotten a lot of people in this situation and as far as I remember, when you finish a kill everyone, like when everyone's gone, searching's supposed to disappear. At least it does on other maps and has on other maps in the past. So I don't... I don't know for sure if I'm missing someone or... Or if I've gotten everyone and the game is just kind of bugging out on me about this. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I've killed everyone. 
or damn near close like I, I can't find anybody I keep running around and not, there's nobody to find it's all completely empty and shit like I, I don't I don't understand where I'm missing this person at so with that being said we have killed a majority of this map I, I, I think I think we can go ahead and say that this one is uh, is sufficiently done I, I can't find anybody else. I have other things to do. I have to sleep because um, I have to work tomorrow. Today, actually, technically for you guys, actually for me too. It's like four in the fucking morning. Um, but yeah, I don't know where uh, I'm missing this person at. So we're gonna just go to the boat. I did miss somebody down here at one point, so I did. I did end up killing them uh, earlier, but I have no earthly idea where I'm missing that person at. So. That's unfortunate. So what did we get as a score? I, I'm excited to see how long I spent on this. I think I spent at least an hour um, on this, this Kill Everyone Challenge. We will do more like this where if we really have to, we'll uh, we'll take some extra time um, off camera because it is, it is easier that way. So it took me, holy shit, a whole whopping 60 minutes. Oh wait, sorry. One hour. Sixty or one hour five minutes and thirty seven seconds. This is to date the longest we've taken on any kill everyone challenge. The second place goes to Whittleton Creek for thirty six minutes. Um that is absolutely insane. How bad did we get on here? We got a total non target kill penalty. Whole oh, fuck of two million seventy thousand. Holy shit, man. That, oops, that is a high, high-ass number. Um, the current record, by the way, before this, for those of you wondering, was the Dartmoor Garden Show with 1,205,000. This one, so first things first, let's see how bad this just beat our old record. So our old record was on Dartmoor Garden Show. This beat our old record by 865,000 points. So... I'll actually, I'll even double check how many, uh, all right. So that was 414 non-targets for a total of 415, uh, people killed. Um, we definitely missed a lot of people. I'm not going to like lie about that. We there's, there's people missed definitely. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious. So we beat our old one by 172 people. Wait, what? Uh, hold up, what? Hundred and seventy three people. Actually, why is that number wrong? Maybe I marked the amount of non target uh targets wrong on that. I don't know. But that's a lot of difference for that. That was like a lot a lot of difference between the two. I'm I'm shocked by how much that uh by how much that changed. That was pretty insane to me. Um, yeah, so we have a new record. One hour, five minutes, 37 seconds with 2,070,000 uh, non-target score. Um, that is incredibly insane. I feel like Colorado may beat the time. Oh, no, you know, we already did Colorado. That's right. Never mind. Um, I don't think any of them are going to beat that. I think that's going to be the biggest time. Like, I don't think I'm going to... Maybe Paris. Paris has a lot of statics, but I don't... I don't legitimately see another map beating that time so i hope you guys have enjoyed this kill everyone challenge and this return to the hitman 3 content i'll see you guys next time stay golden peace